Now it's a race against time in Birmingham tonight as the authorities try to drain a city centre canal that sprung a leak. Heavy rain and ageing seals have been causing problems though. Our environment correspondent David Gregory Kumar is canal side right now. What's the latest David? Well Nick, the second massive pump to try and empty this canal has just arrived on site. They're going to be hooking it up over the next few hours. We've seen a drop of about 20 centimetres over the course of the day, not as much as they would have liked. The rain really hasn't helped. And of course, they don't tackle this leak and solve this particular problem. Well, there is a worry that the water could flood into some of the live, important rail lines that cross underneath this canal in Birmingham. The leak is behind these yellow doors. Canal water from overhead is pouring through the roof of this old railway tunnel. So this is the point where the leak is. That tunnel passes directly under my feet and the canal itself. This is where the water is coming from. And if it spreads, it won't just affect that abandoned railway tunnel, it'll affect the cross city line as well, perhaps even New Street Station. Overnight work to dam either end of the canal took longer than expected. Rubbish, including old chairs and tables, were stopping the closure of the gates. But by this morning, pumping was underway and the water level had begun to drop. But then came the rain. You're in a, an urban area, built up environment, you get a lot of runoff from the a rain, runoff from the hard surfaces which flows directly into the canal. So although you're taking out a certain amount, there's a certain amount coming back in the canal. Before the canal can be completely drained, all the fish must be removed. 20 pound of fish you can get on a good day, but there's roach in here to about a pound that we've seen, uh, perch over two pound, and bream to up to two and a half pound. A, a lot of very small fish as well. So what, what's your best guess about how many fish might be in there in weight? Oh, I could say you could go to as far as possibly half a ton. The good news is as the water has been pumped away, the water loss through the leak has slowed down today. So they're on the right track here. Well, we come round the corner. Uh, this is the part of the canal where the leak is, where I was in my report. Now, because the water level has dropped, the pressure's gone down, so they're going to bring in some secondary dams on this section, either side of the leak, about 60 metres in length, and they're going to pump the water out from inside that section. So that's where we expect the fish rescue to take place, and who knows how many fish they'll find, and that's going to be taking place on Saturday morning. Back to you. Thank you, David. I think I'm right in saying it's the first time we've had problems with seals in Birmingham city centre canals.